Hey y'all, this is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. Uh, this is Friday, June 1st. And I know a lot of people have been asking if I'm going to be working on the cabin anymore. How's the progress on the cabin? Yes, I am. In fact, we're going out there tomorrow. And uh, we'll be, I'll be running wiring uh, for electric and putting in the service panel and laying out my circuits that I'm going to run. Uh, I'm going to run three circuits. That's all I'm going to be using. Uh, one in the living room area for a couple of outlets and a light switch. One circuit will cover the bathroom and the loft. A couple of outlets again and a light switch. And then one circuit for the kitchen area. Same thing. So that's all the electric is going to be in there. And I'll be setting this up with a switch so I can put my solar power on to power it, or I can throw a switch and use the generator. And uh, I'll set it up to where if I am running the generator, if I do have to go out there, say during the winter time, and I have to run the generator, it will charge the battery bank while the generator is running if I'm actually doing that. But this is the first step in getting it ready. Uh, I know it sounds funny, an off-grid cabin with electric wiring, but I wanted to show you a couple of things that I'm going to be taking out there, what I'm going to, how, you know, what I'm going to be using, and then when I do get to get out there and get it all run, I'll show you how I do it. So, this is what I'm taking with me, some of the primary tools that I'm going to need. And I'm going to move the camera up closer now so I can see what I'm showing in the lens. So, hold on. All right, the first thing I'm going to show you are my linesman's pliers. Let me get in this camera. These are like very heavy duty. They're big ones. This I will use to cut my wiring with and using it when I attach it, you know, I mean all the boxes and receptacles and all that linesman's pliers. Some people just call them wire cutters or side cutters, but these are big ones for electric. And my regular wire strippers. Uh, I'm just going to be running 12 gauge wire, 12 2 wire throughout the place. And this will do what I need it to do and help me strip all the wiring back. So two of the tools I'll be using. Another thing I got for my drill, I'll be using the uh, generator out there because I'll be using a corded drill. But I bought this, if I can get it in there, this right angle attachment. And what this does, because the drill won't fit in between some of the studs. I got to drill holes through all of the studs and a couple places on the top plate to uh, run wiring. And the drill by itself is going to be hard to squeeze into some of those places. And rather than buy a uh, right-handed drill, I bought one of these attachments that this chuck goes into the drill and then the drill bit goes into here. And I can use it like a right-handed drill. Let me show you real quick. This is my new drill Alex got me. So if I put this chuck in there, this has a keyless chuck on this drill. If I put this adapter in, tighten it down. Now you see, if I can get far enough away, the idea behind this. I can hold the drill straight like this, push it up against the stud. The drill bit will be coming out of here, so when this turns, it will also turn the drill bit. It's a right angle adapter, right angle bit, whatever you call it, whatever you want to call it. That is going to come in really handy, and it was a lot cheaper than buying a drill. So, that's something I'm taking. 
and the uh, one of the more important things I'm going to take is damn it's heavy. 250 feet of 12 2 wire. <laughs> it, it's not only heavy, but it ain't cheap. So, about 250 feet, I'm sure I'm not going to need that much, but better safe than sorry. And then, the second most important thing for running my electric is this. Another important thing. I won't. I'm haven't shown you yet the most important thing. Uh, probably gonna have to set the camera back a little bit so I can get all this in here. That's better. This is my electric service panel, or what some people would refer to as a breaker box. Um, and what I got, this is a 100 amp. Lowe's does not carry a 50 amp, and there was no point in trying to buy a 50 amp. As I install all of this, I will explain it all to you, but that's my main breaker. That's the service that comes into this. will come from my batteries or the generator. will come into that breaker. And the, you know, the bus bar, the, all my grounds, you know, I'll explain all this as I'm doing it. Now, it came with four uh, 20 amp breakers. So I'm only going to be using three. And I didn't even need 20 amp really, but that's what it came with. And I was surprised it was not that expensive. This was only uh, $59. $53 after my discount. Uh, but that's my load center, my breaker box, my service panel, people call it all kinds of stuff, and the door that goes over it. So, and it's got 22 spaces. I'm not going to be using that many, but should I want to, I could put in 22 breakers. <laughs> And like I said, it's way more than what I needed, but uh, that's what Lowe's had. Uh, so those are all very important tools that I'll be taking out there. But now I'm going to show you the number one most important tool that I have. I will preface this by saying I'm not an electrician. I've never been an electrician. I understand electricity, I understand it can kill you, and it can hurt you if you ain't careful. If you are not comfortable with what you're doing, don't do it. Call a professional. But, what I bought, and it is the most important tool in my bag of electrical stuff, is this book. The Ultimate Guide to Wiring. And this is what I'm going to be using to run the wiring out at the cabin. So, it shows you everything. It's a great book. I bought this off of Amazon. 
and I highly recommend it to anybody who is doing their own wiring or working on their house. I mean, it's just, if you want to add a switch somewhere, add a, a, a receptacle somewhere, fix a light bulb, put in a service panel, I mean, all of it. So, not fix a light bulb, fix a lamp. Duh. Uh, it shows you how to do it by code, how to do it safely, and, uh, well, there's a drill with the right angle. Look at that. <laughs> Let's see, where is my finger? There we go. There's one. Um, but this book does it from, from layout of your circuitry to how to run all the wiring. So this will be done properly and safely. I don't want to burn down my off-grid cabin. So, these are some of the tools that I will be taking out with me to St. Bernard Acres. But yeah, that's that's all the stuff that I'm going to be, not all the stuff, but that's the primary electrical stuff I'm going to need to run my wiring. So yeah, things are going to happen at the off-grid cabin finally. Uh, running the wiring this weekend, insulation, we're going to get that put up so we can start putting in uh, the walls on the inside. Gail wants her kitchen ready. Uh, you know, at least ready enough to where when we go out there and we cook, you know, we have, we have a place to put utensils and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be an exciting time coming up for the cabin. We're also, Gary and I are going to be working on the Pallowood cabin on alternating weekends if weather and work permits. Uh, we'll be working on that. I'll be working on my Pallowood projects at home. But yeah, I'm excited again. A, a lot of things are going to be happening. Um, I'm anxious to get back into to YouTube, back into making videos for you guys, and with you guys, and just, you know, having fun. It's been too long since I've done that. It's, winter was long, spring was long, you know, well, there was a spring. It was from the coldest April to the hottest May. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I can dodge the rain. And we'll get some stuff done out there. And all of you who've been hanging around, I really appreciate it. I got a license plate video I've got to do. Uh, so it's going to be a busy weekend. I don't have to work this weekend. And, uh, you know, now, if I'm out there Sunday and it starts raining, I don't have to worry about it. We can go out there in the rain and do the insulation inside. Hopefully... If we're not working next weekend, we go out and put some insulation on it uh, and get started on, on, you know, finishing off the inside as much as possible. So, you know, it's a work in progress. But I'm anxious to get the wiring done so then I can do the insulation. You know, we got those 11 rolls of insulation sitting there that, you know, our buddy gave us. So we're anxious to get rolling on that stuff. Hope you all enjoyed this. Fun little video, didn't mean to ramble on, but you know how I am. Uh, but this is Joe. Uh, remember to like, share, comment, do whatever with these videos. And that, uh, evidently, I mean, something I haven't really mentioned before, there's this bell. If you subscribe to me, there's this bell. If you click on the bell... It should notify you when I upload a new video because my videos are so sporadic anymore you know I can't dedicate the time to putting up daily videos you know I, I have a lot of fun doing videos and you guys are important to me but I cannot you know I have more of a life than worrying about daily videos going up on YouTube and I'm not going to just, you know, too many people are getting also to where they're just, they look at what's trending and they do a video about that or a vlog, you know. Uh, I don't do that kind of stuff. I'm going to show you some content. I'm going to show you stuff that I do and mistakes that I make and all the, all the fun stuff. And, uh. 
try to encourage you guys because I can do this stuff. It's like fixing that Husqvarna. I love that. I've never worked on a lawnmower before in my life, and I took a $500 lawnmower, bought an $8 part for it, and fixed it. Uh, then I broke it again, but I know now how to fix it. So i got to buy another one of those and the new blade, and we're good to go. That thing, that thing rocks. Uh, and Gail can't complain now when I have her mowing out at St. Bernard Acres. Because uh, it's all wheel drive and it goes up hills real easy, evidently. So, that's about it. It's been fun. I will talk to y'all later. I'm out.